my mind begins to degrade. I must transfer it before it is too late. The search for the vessel continues, Mastermind. We will not fail you. Do not. But first, it is time for Evelyn Baxter's days to end. Cortex are in position. By this time tomorrow, the Deputy Prime Minister will be finished. Once and for all. I'm afraid it's time, Deputy Prime Minister. Look at him! He's not who he says he is. We're getting proof from GDHQ that he's an escaped criminal called Mike Stern. He's here to assassinate you. What idiot gave you that idea? What? I suppose since you've damaged my disguise, Carlo, cat's out the bag. It's not possible. Oh, but it is. I am the Deputy Prime Minister. I can't take all the credit. It was Hamish's idea to fire your team. It must have been quite a blow. I don't know. Losing our gadgets meant we had more time to practice the traditional spy skills. I've become quite good at picking locks. Yeah. You're ready. Mm. Hold on. Did she say locks? Don't let her get away! Sorry I'm late, Prime Minister. We have a situation. It can wait. First, the Deputy Prime Minister has an important announcement to make. of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And you won't believe what exciting plans we have for the country. Evelyn Baxter really is. And now for a News Global exclusive. Because just a short while ago, we were informed that the Prime Minister-to-be, Mrs Evelyn Baxter, is in fact here at this local school. Thank you very much for joining us what? this morning. And with Hamish. Of course, they must be controlling the media as well. Well, I'm here to address a growing problem, that of pupils playing truant from schools. And Mr. Flatley, I hear you actually have four pupils who didn't turn up for school today? Uh, y y yes, I I including Mrs. King's niece. <clears throat> Sorry, she, she told me not to say that. There is no excuse. Which is why I'm asking all missing pupils to come back to school immediately. Think of your teachers, your friends. If you don't return, it really is they who will suffer. If we don't give ourselves up, the whole school's in danger. My auntie, I need to see if she's all right. Now, how about a tour? You can show me the marvellous things done by pupils who do turn up. Yes, and I can tell you by the time I became prime. H D A R T. City Hearts. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Good. But stay here. Those spies could still ruin everything. If they don't show up, destroy this place. At last, K3R1. The name's Kerry, but you know that, don't you, Prime Minister? And where is the rest of your pitiful team? It's me that you want. And I'll come quietly, if you promise. Promise to let everyone go and leave here now. Well, 
small price to pay for the vessel, I suppose. All right. I promise. So you'll let the school go? In two hours, I will be sworn in as Prime Minister. And your spy friends are the only ones who could stop me. So, no. Until they get here, this school is mine. But you promised. You promised! Take her to the mastermind. <gasps> and you, escort me to number 10. I have a country to run. Ah, Evelyn. For a minute there, I thought you weren't going to let me retire. Prime Minister, my apologies. St. Hearts was very rewarding. Oh, well, we best prepare. A few minutes from now, the country will be yours. It has been a privilege and an honour to lead this magnificent country. But, as I retire, I can think of no finer person to succeed me than my deputy, Evelyn Baxter. If you could just sign here. It's my pleasure. And may I just say that as your new Prime Minister, I promise that this country will change forever. Prime Minister? What? But, but Mrs. Baxter? It was her the whole time, Prime Minister. Now the whole world knows the truth. This country will change forever. This country Prime Minister, you're officially under arrest. Unofficially, we just got so busted. And everyone, I have an announcement to make. It seems that I'm no longer retiring. By the looks of it, my country still needs me. Get me out of here! Uh. 